there's the Achilles heel of artist entrepreneurs is this thing called avoidance. And it's the thing that you know you need to do, but you're like hmm. avoiding it. And you're kind yeah. of like, ah, shit, I really don't want to do that thing. Um, so really dealing with avoidance and, and using a tool we, we, we use it in hacky music is, you know, you think about your super high value task. What is the thing you want to achieve and you know, you, you need to achieve. And then the other side of the paper is going, okay, what is the thing I'm avoiding? Yeah. I feel when like you write that down yeah. and you look at it and you go, Oh, sh I, can, I really don't want to do that, but I need to do that. Yeah. When you do that each day, you know, here's, here's the super high value task that changes everything that I can complete today. Then on the back is the avoidance. What is the thing I'm avoiding? You get in the habit of like, like most artists will go to their grave, not dealing with avoidance. Mm -hmm. Hell human beings avoid, right? Yeah. So artists you get in the habit. Stubborn. Yeah. Yeah. It's like people normalize that all the time. So yeah. when you get in the habit of dealing with the thing you're avoiding, it really starts to build muscle around what you're doing as an artist. And, yeah. and you're the, the thing that you're the albatross on your neck goes away. Mm. You, you start to get stuff done because you're not avoiding the things. And if you can do that 365 times a year, you've just destroyed 365 things that you were avoiding that could have taken you down. I feel like uh, two really good examples of that would be uh, artists avoiding playing live because they're mm, afraid of right. the, you know, messing up and it's whatever. a lot of work. It's a lot of work yeah. and you probably will mess up the first two times, but that's important like you said, to make those mistakes. And yeah. if you keep performing for 300 days, that 300 performance, you're going to be a lot better. You're not going to have that fear as much anymore of mm. uh, able to do it. Cause you'll know that you can do it. Yeah. Um, and then another one is, I feel like a lot of people are hesitant to use like TikTok to promote their music nowadays, things like yeah. that. Whereas I understand because, you know, people don't want to be on the social media. Um, but that's where a lot of the youth is right now. And there is a mm -hmm. lot of discoverability there. So sure. if you really want to promote your music, it's a great way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and avoidance comes in a thousand different flavors. Exactly. Like, like what you're avoiding and what, I'm avoiding are, are very different things. Yeah. You have but, to look inside at what you're really afraid of. Yeah. But what it does is, is it starts, you get in the pattern of, of knocking stuff out of, yeah. of not getting sidelined of not going sideways on projects. You're doing like, there's the stuff you want to do and you can do. And there's the stuff that you are not great at, but you have to do it because it's, you know, part of your business. Yeah when you can be knocking this shit out, the avoidance stuff, then all of a sudden this stuff gets exponential, right? It yeah. really starts to build momentum. The optics of it look like you're moving mountains, you know, externally, you know, they, people see you doing stuff. That's like, Holy crap. He's not slowing down, you know? Yeah. So that's a tool we use to really mm -hmm. unplug the chasing kites myth that really, you know, debilitates artists and into just watching other people do cool stuff. Uh, yeah. it, moves, it moves you into that league of like, Oh, I'm doing cool stuff. You know, I'm yeah. doing the super high value tasks. And then I'm also doing the uh, dealing with avoidance. Yeah. I feel like that's a huge part of, uh, artists that I'm hesitant to support. Mm. Um, I see people who don't want to do those difficult things, those yeah. not so glamorous things. And when artists, don't really just, you know, don't really think about that. And they just do it and they're going through the motions. That's when I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm all, I'm all for you. Cause you That's clearly right. care about this a lot and you care about it enough to do all those not so fun things. Yeah. But it's skin in the game. Like when the artist is, is punching above their weight class, yeah. you know, it's impressive. It's kind yeah. of a Rocky moment of like, Oh hell yeah. I'm rooting for Rocky. Exactly. You know, Everybody wants to like the music, but yeah you know, that's some Rocky level stuff, you know, that even they're if, going for. Even if what they're doing isn't perfect, yeah, just right. trying, people like to see you trying. Yes. hundred percent. 